Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all appropriate supervised ages, outside of the dilapidated Castle Grayskull, in front of the party time, wonderful, sexy place that is Snake Mountain, in the Hobo Jungle, I bring to you another Reno McNellis Review, and we've made it 100 episodes, so for all two of you that watch this, that's like, you know, 200 views I've gotten? No, I've gotten a few more than that. Anyway, uh, today uh, we have a couple of figures that are just absolutely random. I figured it'd be a good call just to randomize it up as much as humanly possible for episode 100. Uh, figures that I don't really, have, haven't seen anybody review, but then again, I don't follow anybody. <laughs> All right, so first off, we've got uh, Johnny Lawrence from Icon Heroes. This is, of course, his appearance from the Karate Kid and not Cobra Kai. So here we go. Uh, they did have uh, LaRusso available to purchase, but uh, screw that guy. He's, uh, he's a bitch. Um, especially if you watch the news show. You, you realize that he be bitch. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and open him up. Not for person under persons under 18 years so um you know it's a sexy time figure i guess okay pop that open yes i didn't pre-game i know that's very unusual for me but i'm so excited to do episode one and there goes a hand this is a uh a thunder punch hand you guys remember talking about the thunder punch when you were in the 90s you punch someone in the nose like that and it kills them thunder punch all right so let's have a look at his hands I'm going to keep his fists on, because, you know, that's all LaRusso needs. In, or that's all LaRusso. Oh, bad, bad Luke. That's all Johnny needs. He's got his uh, for shaking hands with the ladies. This is also for shaking hands with the ladies. And this is another Thunder Punch hand. This is a very angry face for Johnny. It's a very good likeness, I might add. Um, yeah, he looks pretty pissed off. I would be too. Alright. And there we go. It looks like he's got a mouth guard in. Either that or his teeth are just kind of weird. I'm trying to look. Is that a mouth guard or teeth? Urgh. I don't know. Anyway. And then, of course, the... He's twist tied in. I was about to just yank him out. That'd been bad, right? It probably would have ripped him in half. I got a bootleg Hawkeye the other day that I took out of package and he exploded. I definitely don't want that to happen with this figure. Ooh, wow, yeah, that's a good figure. I can already tell you that. Um, anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's his. Uh, it looks like he's upset because they don't understand what he's asking for when he asks for a Coors banquet. Um, anyway, so he has toe joints. You see that down there? A um, little bit of a... You can't really move... You see that he's got the ankle joint in there? Let me see if I can get that zoom better. Yeah, he's got an ankle joint in there, but you really can't do a whole heck of a lot with it with his uh, pants going over it. Um, got the detail of the different patches on both sides. Um, double knee joint. Very poseable figure, which is how it should be, because he is a karate master. So... Um, do the splits. He can also do that, uh, do some Street Fighter stuff here. We can just, yeah, anyway, he does have pegs on his feet too, just uh, peg holes for him. Um, if you ladies want to look at Johnny's crotch, there it is. Look at it. Are you, are you happy? Are you glorified by his crotch? Um, his, uh, he's got the wrist joint and then he has also the rocker. You call that a rocker? What do you guys call that? Um, there for the hand to go like this. And uh, I can never get those things to move right, though. Double elbow, bicep swivel, and uh, ball joint up here. He does have a waist and titty joint. And, of course, you know, his head will move. And he squeaks at you. So, yeah, I kind of don't like how that's cut on the back with the, the titty joint that goes to the back. Um, but that's a really cool figure. Absolutely fantastic. What brand was this again? Icon Heroes. Well, Icon Heroes, my hat's off to you. Gosh dang it, that's a wonderful figure. Wonderful likeness. Um, definitely pick this up if you like Cobra Kai, Karate Kid, or 
um, well, what's William's last name? His name's William's something with a Z, right? Uh, I apologize for my stupidity, but I do not apologize for my sexiness. I think Johnny would appreciate that. Um, speaking of things that are sexy and not apologetic, we have Nada, Roddy Piper's character from They Live. Um, here's the box. There we go. There we go. And there we go. So it says on the back here, um, <clears throat> they influence our decisions without us knowing it. They numb our senses without us feeling it. They control our lives without us realizing it. They live. A rugged loner stumbles upon a terrifying discovery. Ghoulish creatures are masquerading as humans while they lull the public into submission through subliminal advertising messages. Only specially made sunglasses make the deadly truth visible. Interchangeable head, ammo, belt, shotgun, and pistol. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop Banata open here. As you guys know, huge Piper fan. Uh, I never got to meet him, unfortunately, but I do own his autograph. Um, oops, well, I thought I had that cut good. Um, yeah, love Piper, always have. I remember watching They Live as a kid, and I was so scared. But I knew it was going to be okay because it was Piper. I was like, oh, yeah, Roddy Piper saved the day. And I was freaking right, wasn't I? Oh, cool. Check out the background in there. That's cool. Okay. Alrighty. So there is his pistol. There is the spare head. The lightness is alright. It's not the best. It's pretty dang close, though, but... It's one of those you got to kind of look at it from an angle for it to be quite right. Um, here is his shotgun. And there is his wonderful accessory that is the uh, silica gel, or however you say it. Throw it away. Don't eat it, kids. Did you guys ever see that video? Supposedly some dude put it in his roommate's ramen. Anyway. That hurt. One of those uh, little rubber things snapped me right there. It hurt. Um, yeah, I hate those things. Ooh, his pants are coming off. Ladies, gentlemen, there's Roddy Piper's butt. Okay, so pretty much your normal clothed uh, clo 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 retro uh, articulation. His knee's in there, and it's really tight. There it goes. Um, yeah, so there's that. I know people don't really buy these for articulation or anything like that. They buy these for display and play, which pretty awesome. So, and of course he didn't come with bubble gum. <laughs> you know, somebody made that joke and thought they were the first person to make that joke and just laughed and laughed and laughed. It's kind of like my real name is Luke, and everybody's always like, "Hey, Luke, I'm your father." <laughs> Like, it's the first time I've ever heard it. It's probably like those poor guys that are tall and everybody asks them about basketball. Anyway, let's see if I can get... Uh, looks like this... Does this go... No. Okay, I thought he had a holster in his back. That's just where that attaches. Um, let's see if I can go ahead and get this in his hand. You know how I am with getting figures to hold their accessories. I am awful at it. Where did his pistol go? Oh, I tell you what. you think after 100 episodes I'd be a little bit better at doing anything. But I'm really not. I'm actually probably worse. For the lack of drugs, probably. Um, okay, so I really can't get this stuff to... Look at that. I can barely get that in there. Um, that's my main problem with a lot of figures, though. I have such a time getting stuff to go in their hands, and especially in front of a camera, because it's, you know, the pressure of trying to please you people. Um, all two of you. Anyway, so that's him. I'm not going to mess with that anymore. Uh, not as great. Pick him up. He's worth every penny. I don't care if you like Roddy Piper or not. Do it. Just do it. They Live is a great movie. Okay, and finally, we have this from Warhammer 40K. This thing is heavy as heck. Um, this here is an Ultramarines Primaris Assault Intercessor. Whatever the heck that is. I only know what a Space Hulk is, I think. I don't know. I remember when I was a kid, I saw the Warhammer miniatures and stuff. And this is, God, you know, early... I like, early mid-90s, and I was like, wow, those things are cool. And I remember Space Hulk being a, a video game that you could get for the computer, and I was like, Space Hulk? That sounds like a rip-off of the Hulk. Oh, my gosh. 
That's that's exactly my experience with 40k. But I thought this looked great. I know a lot of people have been looking for these, and uh, McFarlane always. It, I, he didn't used to, right? For a long time, McFarlane toys sucked. There were statues, but now he's back in a toy game. And I tell you what, it's awesome. All right, so that's stuck in there by that. All righty. So he has his uh, chainsaw, sword, vibro blade, whatever the heck you call that. Oh, I bet I'm pissing some 40k fans off real bad. All I need to do is just mention they need to have dwarves in the game, right? Oh, that'll make him real mad. Um, there is uh, some kind of pistol. Oh, here is the backpack. And we will get him out. Good grief, look at that. That thing is, look at the how hard that's holding that in there. Ooh, I'm going to get myself with that one. All right, so the articulation is as goes, as follows. You got your ankle. Uh, looks like you've got a regular knee, not a double knee. Yeah, regular. Got a swivel here. Um, titty joint. There might be a waist joint, but it's really tight if it is. I don't think it is. If you look in, it looks like there's supposed to be where he turns at the waist, but I guess... I guess titty joints about as best you're going to get. Um, the pauldrons on here are a little, shoulder pauldrons are a little loose feeling. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be removable. They look like they've got a, uh... no, I don't think they are. They look like they've got a little bit of a uh, joint in there to give them a little bit of movement when you move your figure. Um, anyway, yeah, back to the articulation. Wrist, uh, elbow, if you even want to move it and head. Okay. So, I, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about these. Um, the detail is pretty cool on this. I mean, there's not a lot of paint to it other than, you know, his deco up here with his shield insignia and all that stuff. Um, I'm sure that those of you that are into Warhammer know a lot more about this than me, so I won't even try. I think it looks really cool, though, and uh, it also had a base wherever the bottom of that went. Oh, like I said, you'd think I'd be better at this after 100 episodes. Um... It just, it's a standard McFarland base, all right? It says Warhammer 40K on it. I'm not going to waste any more time. We've already gone 12 minutes. And I know you want to see me put this thing together real quick. So we'll just snap that back on in there. Hopefully it goes in easy. Ah. There it goes. All right. Let's see if I have any difficulties with his weapons. You know the answer will be yes. That's supposed to be his pistol. You know what? Give me just a second. Okay, so after about 10 minutes of prying, I decided to finally take a screw, <laughs> screw in there and work around his hand to try and loosen it up so he'd hold this stupid-ass sword. Holy shit, that took forever. Um, anyway, yeah, he's together. What is with that, by the way, with the figures? Look at this. So I could never get Piper to hold his, Nada to hold his gun, right? And I don't know if you can see this now, but I have scraped off paint on the inside trying to get him to hold his gun. So... Figure companies, come on now. We want them to hold the figure, the gun snugly, but we need to be able to get the dang gun in there. All right. So anyway, guys, that's uh, if you're into into McFarland toys or into the uh, Warhammer 40K, I suggest you get this. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much this episode, guys. Thanks for sticking around for a hundred episodes. If you've been here since the beginning, you know it's not been pretty. Yeah, I used to do individual figures for videos that were like four minutes long, and now I can't shut up in almost 15 minutes. So anyway, you know the drill. Let's see if anybody on the 100th episode can get through the door of Castle Grayskull to give Skeletor all the sexy powers and thus become the greatest action figure ever made. Uh, here we go, fella. We're going to set you up like a... This thing is so heavy. If this doesn't get it, I'm going to be really surprised. All right, ready? And... Oh, I missed. All right, let's try again. No dice. Move the whole castle, though. Dang. All right. Uh, Nada, good luck. And Nada there. <laughs> All right, Lawrence. Let's go. You want to do a spinning battle kick? All right, ready? And no dice. All right, thanks again, guys. I hope you're doing well. Uh, here's to another 100 episodes of shenanigans and action figures. And uh, be well. Be good to yourselves. And remember, free the figs.